Since the COVID-19 pandemic, healthcare has shifted to telehealth and opened new doors to empowering patients to take their health into their own hands. In today's episode, we're going to see how technology has changed the game and healthcare and made healthcare accessible to everyone. I'm Nicole Soper, and today's episode is presented by Dr. Kumo. Let's get to it. Our guest today is Dr. Lewis Doe. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Doe. Um, I know remote patient monitoring has been around for quite a few years, but could you elaborate on how it's evolved um, more recently? Yeah. Um, so originally remote patient monitoring was only available to rural patients, uh, but recently Medicare expanded that to the general population uh, as long as they have one chronic condition. Mm -hmm. And that's great because in rural areas, you know, doctors aren't as accessible, hospitals are a bit further away, so mm -hmm. it's nice that they did have that option before, but now it's available to everyone. Yes. Yeah. Um, could you go into what remote patient monitoring is, what it entails, um, what it includes? how it benefits patients? Sure. Um, so remote, remote patient monitoring is a platform that allows uh, a patient to take home a physiologic measuring device, uh, like a blood pressure, something like that. Um, uh, they can take the measurements in the comfort of their own home. Uh, that data will be sent to their physicians uh, at their office. So the doctors will be able to monitor the patients and intervene if necessary. So then when they're taking their vitals and things, you know, like blood pressure at home, um, is it like an app that's included with it? Like, is it technology on the blood pressure cuff or how does that work? Um, usually that depends on the, the technology and the device. Um, several devices use Bluetooth uh, that connects to an app. Mm -hmm. um, there's another one that I've seen that has, uh, it connects to the cellular signal so, um, to, to send the data to the physician. The physician, sorry. Okay, and then the physicians will get this data um, like right away. Does it take a little while, or how does that work? Yeah, they they receive it in real time. Okay. Um, when the when it the patients take the measurements, uh, it shows up immediately in the system. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So then everything's accessible just right away. So when you're taking vital signs, um, when you're at home, the doctor can see it. Mm -hmm. Previously, uh, you know, do patients would have to take the measurements um, themselves. They'd have to document, bring it into the, uh, their doctors. Um, sometimes that can be a little unreliable or they make mistakes, things like that. Um, with remote patient monitoring, everything is recorded for them, uh, sent up immediately to the physicians. The physicians can see if there's anything at high risk um, measurements, then they can intervene immediately. Yeah, that's great. Um, my mom actually has high blood pressure, so mm -hmm. she used to have to write down in a notebook every day, you know, her, her signs, her blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes she would misplace the paper or, you know, she can't read her own handwriting. So in order for the doctor to get that right away and have it documented, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us and, you know, explaining how remote patient monitoring works, um, how it's evolved within the last few years. Um, my name is Nicole Soper with Dr. Kumo. If you have any questions for Dr. Doe, please write it in the comments and we'll see you next time.